We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. It is a lovely clear day at 9.25 a.m., I'm going to assume. Uh, we're playing a little bit of a uh, Phantom Brigade, and we kind of did the first couple of missions, and now it looks like we're going to head out and do some more stuff. I don't know if we wanted to, like, stop off at the base and if there was anything to really do. I don't think so, so we're going to head that way. Oh, cool, we're taking the, the truck. That's awesome, look at it, look at it. That's great. We could speed things up a little bit if we wanted. I'm going to slow it down again, though. This is fantastic. Oh, I've been waiting so long to play this. I want to play it more than just what we're doing right now, but ah, got to got to temper my excitement. Got to temper it a little bit. Enjoy as we go. All right, a fight at home. We can't go in there, guns blazing as usual. A pilot says to another, "This isn't a base or a battlefield. These are people's homes." That brings up a list of things to contend with. It doesn't matter if you liberate the civilians if they have nowhere to live after the smoke clears. Now comes the test of all your strategizing and training. Suit up, Commander. All right, let's do it. The mobile base can scan the site in advance. You can customize your squad before the battle based on the available intel. Nice. Carefully inspect the key aspects of the mission, enemy composition, and relative strength to or of your squad before deploying. The hollow table lets you preview the terrain, unit positions, and key locations. Here you can see how many units you can or can be deployed and decide which mechs and pilots to send out. Click squad and deploy when you are ready. Alright, approach. Civilian outposts eliminate all nearby hostiles. With a balance, uh, eliminate them all with a balanced team taking care to not incur too many casualties. They're dug in like ticks. Bait the enemies to bring them out of cover, or use indirect fire weapons. A chime rings out, but you can destroy certain alarmed locations on this map to prevent enemy reinforcements from detecting and deploying. All right, enemy reserves, a mix of reserve troops led by oddball elite specialists. They lack, what they lack in skill and experience, they make up for in sheer number. They're already here. The enemies are already immediately, or sorry, are, are ready to immediately engage. So keep your wits about you. They brought backup. Reinforcements are on the perimeter and may deploy during battle. I mean, we don't really have a, a choice here. Should I switch out? I probably should switch out Lars Jacobs Jacobson, I think. I think we can get a uh, Rashad or maybe Devin. Veteran test pilot. Yeah, let's let's go with Tango. We'll, we'll send Tango at, on on this mission as the protector. All right. Oh, wait, 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 Back to this. Sorry, I did. I did a very bad job of looking at what's going on over here. What is this? Autofill? No, that's fine. Uh, where where are we at? Looks like there's four units inside this area. Like this is okay, but all right. And then there's one on the perimeter, I guess. All right, let's deploy. I, I hope that it'll make more sense at uh, the hollow table as we get a little further along. So many, so many lives, lives lost. lost. So much devastation. This isn't what I wanted for you. I thought you'd be born in a time of peace oh, and man. prosperity. Of love among people. But the world is so different now. Tanks patrol the streets. Neighbors turn on neighbors. People disappear in the night. They keep telling us this is temporary. That we'll come to love our new way of life. 
Somehow, I don't believe them. I want to give you the freedom I once had. But how can we few do that alone? We can't keep Pope alive for much longer. We pray that someone, anyone, will answer our call. So. Guess that's us. We're going to be answering that call. Probably. The enemies will be more challenging from here on. Complete objectives quickly. Use cover to avoid taking damage. Avoid using important civilian buildings as cover to protect them from damage. Okay. Destroy this alarm tower to halt enemy reinforcements. You can target the environment while aiming your attacks. Left control alternate firing mode. Okay. This home guard unit has joined the fight. Use its long range weapon to strike targets from afar. They will be awaiting your orders. Try not to get them killed. Oh, that's sick. Alright. Alright, let's take a look. What, what, are we, what are we looking at here? Is this us? Yeah. Okay, so we got we got Shieldy Boy, we got uh, Longbow. And we got ourselves, it looks like, three enemies. So we got a tank, we got another tank, and we got a mech. All right, and then I, I suppose we could throw the attack right there. And then I suppose we're gonna step out here as well. We will lay our first attack out right there. Oh, it said blocked. All right, hold on. Okay, optimal range. And then I think if we wait a little bit, probably throw another attack. Maybe even at, yeah, we'll throw it here. And then after that, we don't, we don't want to use this for cover. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then you, good sir. We've got a long range. Do you have line of sight on this guy? You have no line of sight at all. Until it gets to like here. But we'd have to shoot through that building if we were going to do that. Like I like the idea of you being on the high ground, but it doesn't look like you're gaining much from doing so. Really not see this guy? All right, let's um I think can we attack this? I think we could probably do that a little bit or there or something like that. All right, let's just see what happens. And 
then after his shot, he's okay. All right, well, let's just see what happens. All right, we're, we're gonna do it. Let's let, let's let it ride. Oh my god, that missile is like doing weird stuff. Can you shield up, you think, in time to... I'm just gonna set it to shield that direction. Hold on. little overlap as possible and then I want you to just start attacking this fool immediately let's take him right there What's why? Why? What? 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 What do you mean? I was gonna overheat us a little here. If we did this again. Alright, so that doesn't look like that's gonna work for us, but what if we step back? No 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna wait until here. And then we're gonna step back. And as we do that, I'm gonna shoot at this guy. Yeah, something like that. All right. And then in the meantime, I think we could just take a nice quick shot right there. And then we could do another attack. Probably at him, but hold on. I'll move that up. That, yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, let's see what happens. No, I, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll do the replay just so we can kind of see. So we missed the shots there. We got a couple shots here. It went down. Our shotgun blast just guaranteed it was gone. The missile went and did a little weird loop in the air. It's about to hit us from behind. We're going back to the plan, or we're going for the execute. Oh, it hit the building. Oh, no. And I never fully turned around. Keep up the pressure on that tower just a little more, and we'll have knocked it down. Alright. So what I think we do now is we... Is he within range? No. All right, what I think we do is we move over here and we take a shot at him. It's gonna have to be, yeah, this guy, but it's gonna have to be a little bit closer to that. And then I say we take another shot at him here. And I think we're gonna have to move further. So let's uh, remove that. We're gonna move to here, optimal range. And then, yeah, 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 okay. We're a little overheated.
I don't. Hmm. Optimal range, but I'm gonna also move here to make the optimal range work, and then here. Secondary. First one's a marksman's rifle. The second one's a handgun. How does the first one attack? Now we have to switch over to the handgun. Probably further back. Something like that, and we're going to see how that works out. Alright, and then meanwhile... Hopefully that's enough to take the tower down, which, again, we don't know that it will be. Uh, we're going to wait at least a little bit. Then we're going to step right here. And we're going to attack... Him right there. All right, let's let's make it happen. Okay, we took down the tower. Big exchange, shot. We knocked out his legs. This thing's almost gone. Well, they've taken out, down our alarm. Reinforcements aren't coming now, so now's not the time to get lax. He's lower. His lower body's gone, but he is not out yet. How banged up are you? You're not that messed up, and you're okay. Who are you targeting? You're not even targeting anyone right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our shield. We're just going to shield on you. Then we're going to wait until you're wherever you're going to be. That's going to be on you. We're going to push this so we don't overheat. I think that's probably fine right there. Yeah, makes sense. Overheating unit will be damaged. Uh, oh, is that him? Okay, and then you... How messed up are you, sir? Are you overheating right now? I don't think so. So I think even starting like here, we could just like point and shoot. And we can probably just point and shoot again. Okay. And then we'll take a step over here. And we will take a shot at you. Yeah, that, that should be enough. Alright, let's see. He's definitely gone. There's a shotgun blast to this guy who's not quite done yet. He's got like zero... Oh, no, he is. He is. Uh, eliminate... Uh, all hostiles eliminated. Uh, the site is now under your control. All right, cool. So that guy either burned out or he died because he was overheating and firing. Well, they kept it cool. All right, very good. Uh, congratulations, the enemy has been defeated and you now have control of the site. I can them some equipment. We uh, were retrieved intact by our drones during the fight. They are marked for recovery by default at no salvage cost. Very nice. We can get a marksman rifle. I think these are the two that we got, and a firewall shield. Yeah, those are already done. And then here we can start getting like the various different parts. And it looks like we can actually get all of that. So if we, all right, if we opt against that, what what is this? Oh, we could actually just grab the whole thing, and then that's our full budget. Okay, that works. 
start salvaging so we're gonna get an entire mech out of it and we're gonna be able to get an entire or at least various parts and we're gonna be able to get uh, a new shield and the sniper rifle or marksman rifle as it were liberators one of your pilots leaps down from their mech face flushed from the heat of battle and the high of victory let's prove these liberator rumors true they call out raising cheers from the rest of the crew a grueling journey lies ahead of you but the role of hope cannot be forgotten it has sustained the civilians this long and under these conditions. Perhaps it can sustain you too. If you can secure this province, what's stopping you from taking back your homeland? With bolstered hope, you push onward. All right. Uh, we received all this stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, with your recent efforts, for now the civilians are safe. However, your numbers are too small to permanently hold the area. Ensuring the people's continued safety means calling in home guard forces before the invaders can reoccupy. You've built up enough momentum to contest the province and take back control. When you deliver the news to your crew, they buzz with a mix of anticipation and nerves. This was always your goal. You might be a small rebel unit, but with your prediction tech, you could help turn the tide of a war. One of your pilots falls heavily into a seat, their grin at odds with their posture. Then let's do it, they say. Alright, there's no stopping now. Liberation, as a guerrilla force, you can't hold territory against the enemy's forces on your own. The village you've liberated today won't stay that way for long, especially if the enemy has dispatched a new garrison. To advance the homeland's liberation, you will need the help of the Home Guard. Okay. Uh, contest province. Contest the province to call in the home guard. Home guard will engage the enemy, tying them down and giving you opportunities to strike at key objectives. Distracted, the enemy won't be taking sights back. The village you have liberated will be the least of their worries. You can see the state of the allied and enemy forces above. The province will be liberated if the enemy forces are depleted and lost if the home guard forces run out. Objectives will be designated by the home guard throughout the conflict. Take them out to weaken the enemy's power. Alright, Army Unit 2, Stationed Patrol, Breakdown. Get this, that commander the home guard's been after? His patrol just broke down. Your scout points to a location on the map. Now's the time to mount an ambush. Upon hearing the news, one of your pilots begins nervously drumming their fingertips against the control panel. If we hit them hard now and manage to get their commander, we won't be able to lead the he won't be able to lead the troops back into the villages. They say tap their tapping intensifies. We free the people for real. All right, prepare for the ambush. That's where we're at, and that's where we're heading. It is paused. Very very cool. All right, let's go take a look at our base. Okay, this is what we have right now. Can we... Can we build a new unit? How does this work? See, it looks like right now all we can do is change out some of the equipment, right? Oh, what is what did that do? All that's really different is the integrity, right? Nothing else changes, but why That's weird. I, I don't... I don't understand. What is... What? So 
we just switched it over to I'm so confused. Okay, well we switched it back. Right, or is, I, I don't, is this what we have? This is what we have, and this is what's available. Okay, so technically I could exchange the two, and all that really happens is the integrity goes up. Is there a way to build a second, or a third mech, I should say? Because I'd like to build a new one. It says two of three. This unit can be deployed, but there's some warnings to consider damage. Repairs are recommended before building a unit. Oh, how do, how do you how do you do that? How do, how do you how do you repair? We could paint it. We can. There's a roll. Okay, interesting. I sure. Select a slot on this unit to customize the unit. I mean, it's it's interesting. All right, well, let's go over to this guy and uh, we do have two other shields now. So this, the integrity is higher for either of these other shields. Okay, so we now have the new shield on, on our person. Okay. We have two marksman rifles now. So I, I see. Um, so for the handgun, we either keep it or we can give him a shield as well for the secondary weapon. For the primary, we either use the burst rifle or we go to marksman if we wanted. That's interesting. I don't know that I necessarily want to do that. I, I don't dislike the idea, but I'd rather have this guy stay as kind of like the assault force, right? And I understand now that this is uh, going to upgrade to our, to our boy here. And now he just has better stuff and I think it's all repaired as well, most likely. So overall, he's got a level of 1.8. This one's got a level of 1.3. I don't know how to repair though. This is the problem. How, how does one repair? Go to pilots. Tango is doing okay. Sierra looks like Sierra still shaking up a bit. Foxtrot's fine and Kilo full health. Feeling okay. Units, inventory, we kind of looked all this stuff over already. We have a rough idea. We don't have any subsystems. Okay. Back to the world map. Uh, liquid fix, repair, resource used in overworld, taken into combat by units. Wait, what, 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 what is, what is this? Yeah, we know we have the warnings. Uh, nothing was clear about how we actually go about, uh, this is supplies, about repairing stuff. Well, I mean, we're, we're at time for our, uh, 
our episode. I assume that we're gonna repair as like as we move. Let's uh let's try that. Okay, so this is the village. This is roughly where we're at right now. So if we start moving this way, it is using that to repair us up. That that's what I thought was gonna happen, but I wasn't positive. So I kind of posed the question, like, is this actually going to be how it works? All right, so they're both fine now. So if we paused again and we actually looked at the base, there are no warning signs. Uh, the longbow has been upgraded to almost fully level 2 with a tier 2 for the Ibris uh, body. And what we were doing before was we were taking this off, and all we had left was the wire frame with none of the equipment or the armor on, so... All right, I'm getting it. Now I'm slowly understanding, folks. It's all good. Anyway, in the next episode, we make our way over here. We hopefully are able to defeat the enemy and uh, strike a blow for the good guys and uh, start taking over the province bit by bit, piece by piece. How far out can we zoom? Pretty far, actually. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of just area. I don't know how much the map is going to actually be available to us to actually do something, but the map does seem pretty large at this point, and we're only just beginning our little ventures here, so good times, good times. Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.